everyone, welcome back to my expat series. This is episode seven, and this month I have a lovely guest, my beautiful mother. Thank you for being my guest mom. And she's gonna give us a little insight on what it's like to have a expat daughter. So we'll dive right in. Did you ever think you would have a child living abroad? Not abroad, but I always knew Jen would end up uh, moving to a larger city. She had talked about the cities ever since she was a little girl. Did you, what was your first reaction when I came home from Mexico and said I was gonna move to England? Um, sheer panic. Um, I'm a mom. I thought she was jumping head over heels into a relationship too soon and add the fact she's going to a foreign country and you would be gone, something happened, I wouldn't be able to find her. But she was an adult, so we had to bring out the mom support and <laughs> go with the flow. And you really did. You were amazing supportive because you never put your feelings first. You put mine, which was amazing. Thank you. Your reaction was amazing. So did you think in the back of your mind it would be a long-term adventure or a short-term adventure that I was on? I never thought of it long term or short term. Um, Jen assured me that mom, the planes fly both ways. And with that logic, it was like, well, okay. Um, it's true. <laughs> and the worry was for not. <laughs> now, once I had kids, did you find it a lot harder to be so far away from us than when it was just me? It, it was very hard because um, I love being a grandma, I love hugging the babies. And being abroad, I can't. No tears. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about having an expat daughter? My, my favorite thing is because she's here and because I come over here, I get to go and see places I never would have ventured on my own to go see. And Jen always makes a supreme effort of take me to those places so I always we do forward. have some great adventures don't we we, do. we travel very well e together e even in the thundering floods of venice in our poncho poncho up, yeah. poncho up now what is the hardest thing about having an expat daughter okay the hardest thing is being a virtual mom and a virtual grandma um, I'm, I'm happy for the internet because i get to see but the other part of that is i'm just seeing i'm not there and sometimes at holidays there's a big void. Oh, that's what's great about social media though. We can still have FaceTime and we can still share as much as possible. If we didn't have that back 10, 20 years ago, it would, I can't even imagine. Yeah, I, I would just be being a letter. an expat. <laughs> you would just a, be a, a letter snail mail. Yeah. <laughs> She'd be a, a, a letter grandma. And so we are thankful of what we do have in the social media and technology for that, but it is hard. Definitely, and as you can see, it's not just emotional for me being an expat, but it's just as emotional for the families that um, we kind of left behind in a way. So there's different sides to expat, that's why I wanted to do this interview and show you the different aspects of family life as an expat. Now that your daughter and your grandchildren are in a new culture, do you find it hard to learn that new culture and that language? No. Um Obviously, being British, it's really close to American. Um, it's kind of fun with the words. Sometimes I'm totally lost in a conversation. <laughs> in there. <laughs> different words, or trying to find a product, like like carol syrup in the grocery <laughs> store. But I love it. Um, it's part of who my kids are. It's part of my daughter's life. And I thoroughly enjoy just being here and talking to people and seeing their history. And now that I've been here about nine years, do you actually feel part of that culture now as well? I do, because my grandchildren are both, so yeah, that puts me in there. And I, I just feel like connection here now. Um, I have little British flags and little British knickknacks <laughs> around my house. We're going international, people. Yeah, That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Would, do you find that by my blog, me being on social media and, and my YouTube channel, do you feel a little bit closer and connected to our daily life? Yeah, because because of her blog, I do get to see more what the family's doing and seeing them enjoying their life. And um, but like I said, I'm just watching, but at least I get to watch. Yes. 
Would you change anything about having an expat daughter? Or do you find the two worlds is kind of like having your cake and eating it too? Uh, the only thing I would want to change would be the airline fares. Oh yes, <laughs> those are painful. <laughs> so I could come more because I do like to travel. Um, I'm happy for my daughter here. She's very happy. I'm. It, it warms my heart that she has such a happy life and family. And I also love it though when she comes home. It is great to have two homes and two worlds. So we just got to work on those airline fees. Well, thank you, Mom, for thank showing you. us our in, insight on what it's like to have a expat daughter. And thank you all for watching. I hope you stay tuned for the finale next month on Let's Talk Mommy. And we'll say bye for now. Bye.